right, so we've got the, the hex head bolt that was coming through the back side. It was holding up the, um, the front tank mount is out. We're going to replace it with uh, this all thread um, Allen head bolt. And then at the top here, um, there was this spacer behind uh, the camel tank. And then also an M8 hex bolt. So we, um, the spacer uh, is going to come out and stay out. The reason that it's there in the first place is that with the TourTech rack, uh, this, is, uh, this is the tab for the rack, and the camel tank mount goes over top of it. So when we're running a pannier system that, that isn't TourTech or doesn't have this style of mount, we put the spacer in and it keeps the, um, it keeps the spacing for the bracket that we've made and bent uh, in the right spot. Take this rack and we're going to set it in. So now the, the bracket off of the TourTech Zega pannier racks is behind our mounting bracket. And we're going to take the M8 by 25 um, socket head and a washer. And we're just going to leave that one loose. And we're going to come to the front now. And again, we have the, the full thread bolt here. Because the 1190 has uh, the subframe pad here is on an angle, uh, but the bolts go straight in. They've given you um, an angle cut, a slash cut spacer here that goes on. I'm going to take this longer bolt with that spacer. And you're going to want to put Loctite on this bolt. Once we get this uh, bolt in a good chunk of the way, we're going to take the uh, 12 mil spacer and put it on the back side of the bolt just like we did before. And then we can continue, uh, continue to tighten this. And you need to be careful when you're doing this uh, that you get the, uh, the slash cut washer is in the right orientation. And that's going to be the thicker part is pointing towards the back of the bike. And I'm not going to tighten these up all the way. We're going to get the rest of the, uh, the rest of the bolts in here. And we've got another slash cut spacer and a washer. It's going to go into the top hole here. And then another bolt and washer. I'm going to go into the third one. You do need to leave all of these bolts loose so you have some wiggle room to get the next one in. And then there's TourTech has spacer and another Allen head bolt. Because they're all in, we can tighten these up now. And again, just make sure you get that slash cut washer in the right orientation. And then with the full thread bolt sticking through, put the, the nylon nut on the back side. Then we need to put on the rear license plate mounting bracket that the crossbars mount to. And these are already loose. I'm going to take the M645s out. And we're going to put the license plate mounting plate on here, the 45s again. And back through the holes that they just came out. You may have to loosen these two. And they were previously Loctited, so you may have to take them out and then re-Loctite them. And with your license plate mount on here, just go ahead and put your put the rest of the bolts, get your license plate on. Leave everything loose until you get it lined up, and then we're going to bolt the. And you're going to tighten all of this down and adjust this rear bracket accordingly.
that's all there is to it. Uh, pretty quick and easy to, to get these guys on here. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, send me an email, info at Camel Tank. Thanks for watching.